In the impact segment tonight, some controversy surrounding an Islamic mosque and cultural center in the works at Ground Zero. The imam responsible for this project, Faisal Abdul Rauf, has conducted some post 9 11 sensitivity training for the FBI, but he's also made some questionable remarks about America's behavior toward Muslims. Joining us now from New York, the imam's wife, Daisy Khan, the executive director of the American Society for Muslim Advancement. And Daisy, before we get into this, I know you were listening to our previous segment about the, uh, the culture war with the, uh, the war against Christmas and these ads, and you wanted to comment. Yeah, I was most intrigued because I don't think that there is a war between people who are believers. I think our real issue is bringing people who disbelieve and uh, ha, you know have absolutely no notion of who what what God is and believe in the existence of God. And this is what our faith community should doing should be doing together to work on a common platform to remove this kind of ignorance against God. All right. Well, I like the I like the backup you give me on that. Um, let's talk about the uh, Islamic Center at Ground Zero. Uh, questions. I, I can't find many people who are, really have a problem with it. Bloomberg is for it. You got rabbis in New York saying they don't have a problem with it. Why near Ground Zero? Why did you choose that space? Well, I think the closeness of the center to Ground Zero, first and foremost, is a blow to the extremists. And you know, we Muslims are really fed up, Laura, of having to be defined by the actions of the extremists. You know, we are law-abiding citizens, we are faithful people, we are very good Americans, and we need to project a different message of Islam, one of tolerance, love, and the kinds of commonalities we have with other faith communities. And this center will be dedicated to uh, promoting what it means to be Muslim, but what it also means to be American. And that is the real message that needs to get out. Uh, when you see surveys, and I know your group uh, takes a moderate approach to, you know, Americanizing people, assimilating people, which I applaud. I think that's fantastic. But when you, when you, when you see Pew survey, the global survey that came out, what is that, 18 months ago or so, global opinions of Muslims, especially younger male Muslims, on a number of issues, including whether jihad is morally justifiable, the figures are, are, are disturbing to me, and I was wondering what your thoughts were. On well, that. once again, our faith has been defined by people who have political agendas. And what they do is they use religion as a veneer to mobilize people. And what we have to do is talk about what is the central core of all faiths, which is the love of God. And this is the message, and this is why we want to create a center so close to Ground Zero to promote a different message, one that most majority of Muslims live. I mean, the extremists are a fraction of a fraction of a fraction. And they don't represent the majority view. And what we are afraid of is that they become the, the center in the majority. And we have well, to stop that. The, pro the problem is, and we're going to get to your husband's comment from back in 2004 in a minute, but Pope Benedict has asked for parity, or kind of a reciprocity, that, look, we'll have a mosque in Rome. And I'm absolutely have a mosque in Rome, freedom, religion. But let's have a cathedral or a Catholic church in Saudi Arabia. Now, how, how far do you think you got with that? I mean, or, or Lebanon today. Try to build a new church in Lebanon, you know, a, a previously a, a, a hotbed of Christianity, uh, and you, you, don't, you don't get anywhere. So that's what kind of upsets Christians, especially with what's happening to Christians in Iraq and in Iran and places like that. Yeah, well, I completely agree with you because if you look at the history of Muslims and you look at, uh, you know, the pluralism that existed within Islamic history over the last 1,400 years, there used to be great mosques and great cathedrals and churches and synagogues in every place. What has happened is that there's a new interpretation that has crept in, one of intolerance and one of non-acceptance. And this, we have to push back against that and bring back what, you know, our religion says. There is no compulsion in religion, which means you can disbelieve and believe and believe in other faiths communities uh, because Daisy, of, yeah let's get into what your husband said in 2004 because this is a sticking point with a lot of people a Sydney Morning Herald interview he was quoted as saying it was Christians in World War II who bombed civilians in Dresden and Hiroshima neither of which were military targets he placed some blame, blame on Christians for starting uh, mass attacks on civilians uh, that that disturbs a lot of people because like look, a, lot, a lot of American soldiers died liberating Muslims around the world uh, in Kuwait and Bosnia, and they, they didn't appreciate that. Well, I don't think he meant it that way. I think what he was trying to say is that you know when we take when we when we have a small crime, then then uh, there is such a 
huge response to that where there's a calamity on such a large scale that, uh, that, that you know, we have to look at uh, what the law says and uh, Christians, uh, Christianity is defined by love. And when things are done in the name of Christianity, like, you know... Well, we didn't, we didn't Crusades, wage World War II in the name of Christianity. That's no, the I'm difference. Not, we didn't, it, our fighter pilots weren't screaming Alu Akbar, you know, yeah, or, or the yeah. equivalent in, uh, in English, obviously, praise be to God. I mean, yeah. that, that, that's, I, I think... I'd amend that if I were he. I'd kind of go back and redo that statement. But uh, I like what you're trying to do in Ms. Khan. We appreciate it. And uh, come on my radio show sometime. We yeah, it we need much. the support of people like you, seriously. So we All look right, forward to working care. with you. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, Daisy, take care. And okay. we come back.